I'm back again. Um, this time my goal is to talk about planners. So if you're here for the vintage hairdo thing, sorry guys, see you next time. Um, I'm going to be reviewing shoes. That's my goal for the next time. Um, so planners, not talking about your $5 planner you pick up at Walmart. For those who are not in the know and are just here to see me talk about things, um, planners are kind of a trend that took off after scrapbooking. People decorate them. There are stickers. There are Etsy shops all over the place with them. And yeah, so the last three years running, I have been a loyal Erin Condren fan. Erin Condren is uh, moving one of the... I don't want to say the original because I know that there's a lot of debate about that, but she developed and definitely successfully marketed. Oh my goodness, this is wibbling. Hang on a sec, guys. Okay, try this again. Now with some sort of stable frame. I need to buy a tripod or a selfie stick or something like that. Um, right now my camera is balanced on a box of Girl Guide cookies because that's the kind of family we are. Anyway, back to planners. So, Erin Condren. This is my Erin Condren Life Planner for 29th, 2018. What year is it? We don't know. Erin um, Condren sells, you get customized covers, which are removable, and she sells extra ones so that you can change them as often as your budget allows. Um, they're coil bound, which means the pages in the middle are stuck in. Um, she also includes, flipping this open, hoping to not reveal where I live. Hang on a sec, I got a dental appointment in there. All right, so you also get a clear pocket, which is, used to be coiled in, and now they send you this little sticky clip thing so you could keep it separate, or I always put it in because I like to have somewhere to keep, um, important papers, um, appointment cards, and that kind of thing, because otherwise I lose them. So the biggest thing about the Erin Condren Life Planner, I'm going to flip to the end here where it's blank, is this kind of layout where you have a vertical layout. Now these boxes used to say, I believe it was morning, day, night, or something like that. Um, but now... Uh, they're blank, so you can use them. Um, traditionally, I have used one for kind of events of the day, a to-do list, and then kind of um, things like um, kids' lessons and what nights my kids go to their dad's house and things like that that don't really change week to week, so I'm probably not paying as much attention to them. Um, I'll also sometimes include down there things like meal planning. Anyway, so three years. I have been using the Erin Condren Life Planner. It also includes some notes pages at the back and a foldy pocket that used to be so much better, but they switched to this like low down at the bottom and things just fall out of there like you wouldn't believe. It's terrible. It's terrible. Um, they also did change this to be um, like a whiteboard, which is a good idea, but I don't take things off of them frequently enough and the ink runs off onto the rest. So I'm not a fan. So, I've been thinking about this year. The problem is I live in Canada. And to get an Erin Condren Life planner, planner, I first have to battle, battle the exchange rate. I then have to pay for international shipping, which is com brings my regular, plain, boring, no extra fun features planner up to $100 Canadian. And then when they drop it off to me, they I have to pay an extra twenty to twenty five dollars in duty and other taxes. A hundred and twenty five dollars for a planner. Yeah. So this year I kind of said my budget doesn't stretch that far. So I love you, Erin Condren, but not this year. This year I have gone to my local Michaels store and picked myself up a happy planner. Happy Planner is very similar to Erin Condren Life Planner, and I make absolutely no comments as to who came first or who designed what or who copied who. So a Happy Planner. Um, these are available locally, so I don't have to pay shipping or duty or any of that stuff. Um, and I can get it at Michael's, and I got it on half off, 
which is well half off. I think it was like 40% off all planner and planner accessories. Um, and additionally, because it's locally available, all of the accessories are locally available. Because with Erin Condren, if I want anything extra, so if I want um, like a bookmark or a planner band or anything that she has on her website, I have to think of it and order it when I buy the planner or it's just too much with the shipping and the duty and everything. I just can't. Um, so happy planner. I can pop on up to Michael's anytime I want and go get me anything else I want. I have always, you'll, you probably saw on my, um, Erin Condren used the happy planner pen loops. I much prefer them anyway. They're a little bit bigger. The, um, Erin Condren ones are like a little piece of elastic and the pens I use don't, I don't think would always fit into them. So I've always just kind of gone with the happy planner ones. I like that it has a little heart in it. It makes me happy. So this is the one I've gone with this year. Happy Planner does not come personalized. My Erin Condren always comes with my name on it for free. Happy Planner, what I actually ended up doing was buying the Happy Planner. Um, I bought the Happy Planner letter stickers and I did it myself in gold foil. Wee. And then I did it again on the inside because it needed to be there. Um, this is actually an 18 month planner, which is not my favorite because it means it is a little bit thicker. I've actually already removed July through October because I don't need them. Um, I have switched over already just because it's a new planner and it's in my house and I had to use it. And isn't it pretty? It's all shiny and new. And I love the discs. So the Happy Planner, the biggest difference between the Happy Planner and the Erin Condren Planner is that the Happy Planner is a disc bound system. So you can see the discs. Um, and that means that everything is removable. So the cover comes on and off, same as Erin Condren, but so does every single other page, which is nice for a couple of reasons. It means that I can, as I say, remove entire months that I'm not using. It means that when I'm working on a page, if my rather than worrying about my hand running into this up the middle, rather than worrying about my hand running into this up the middle, I can take the page out and then when I'm finished writing on it, just pop it back in. Um, it also means it's a lot more customizable. I can get a page. Um, I, you can buy note paper and add it in. You can buy, I think I have at the back here. Yeah, there's some note paper because the Erin Condren does come with note paper at the back and the Happy Planner does not. Um, so I got the note paper. I also got this nice little folder, which was not included, but came in, I think actually came in the same set. I got the note paper in, and I think I got a couple of other, like a bookmark paper clip thing that I never use. I've got like seven of them floating around the house and I just find them and don't do anything with them. Um, the other nice thing is that there are a few other disc bound systems out there. Most of them aren't as pretty, which is important, as Happy Planner, but they tend to be a little bit cheaper. So for the grand total of $2.99 Canadian, I got two of these little pouches that just pop on in. Um, these are the Arc System by Staples. They're not exactly designed to line up. They come up one of these little holes short but that's fine. Um, I can just put up with popping it back in all by myself and having one disc that doesn't have anything on it. Um, same thing for this. This is um, another little folder. I got two of them, I think for $4.99. It might've been $4.99 for the pockets and $2.99. Please never quote me on prices. I don't know what I pay for things. They just seem like a good idea at the time. Anyway, I have this I can stick in as well. Um, I jazzed mine up here. I'm gonna try to cover up my kid's face. So you can see my stickers. Currently my kids' photos have come back. The proofs are in here so that I can remember to fill them out and send them back to school. No, oh, there's a pen. Before it's too late. Um, the dress I'm wearing today is from Svala, I believe it's pronounced, which advertises on Facebook. Um, this is the painter creativity dress. My daughter has one that matches. Um, and I work in preschool, for those who don't know, and we were painting today, and it's always a good idea to have something you can't see the stains on, because it's the day before Halloween, and we were painting pumpkins with enthusiasm and not discretion. All right, so 
those are kind of some of the reasons I switched to Happy Planner, mostly that it's locally available, and I'm kind of enjoying the custom, uh, custom, uh, the ability to customize it. There, we'll say it that way. Um, I was always really worried because I am really rough on things, especially something like my planner that I do stick in my purse and lug around everywhere so that I know what I'm doing every day. Um, and I was kind of concerned that pages would fall out. Um, and as I said, I'm a preschool teacher, so I've last two years, so last year, last year and this year have been using the Happy Planner Teacher Planner, um, which I also lug around a lot, which was a really nice way to kind of try it out without committing my whole life to it, <laughs> to see whether the pages would fall out. And they don't. So if you've ever been concerned about your pages falling out of a Happy Planner, I'm here to tell you that I am so rough on bo my belongings that my best friend calls me a mangler. And I still don't have the pages falling out of my happy planners. So, to sum up, I like both planners. But this one costs too much money for me. Recollections, which is the Michaels brand, does do a very similar planner to the happy plan... To, not, bleh, to the Erin Condren planner. Um, I believe there was a court case about how similar they were, to be honest. Um, but because they didn't come with things like the note pages and the like year long planning pages and that kind of thing, and they're not customizable, they weren't for me, which is just, it's a personal choice when you're picking a planner. You have to like it because otherwise you're not going to use it. And if you don't use it, what's the point of owning it? So hopefully you've enjoyed this little wander through planning land. Whee! looks so luxurious anyway so this is my planner for this year I will probably show you a spread of mine here let's have a look see if I have any spreads we can show because I think I took the only one I had done out let's have a peek uh, names not really okay I'm gonna put my hand on this side because that's where my kids names are um so this is my Halloween week the other nice thing about Happy Planner is that they sell sticker books in Michaels, which I bought a lot of ages ago, and I own them anyway, and they fit in the boxes. The boxes on a Happy Planner are longer than the boxes on an Erin Condren Planner. The other reason was Erin Condren has this kind of lined section at the bottom of each day, which I'm sure works really great for people who meal plan regularly or use that space somehow. A lot of people don't. They just cover it with a big sticker. Um... But for me, anyway, but for me, um, I felt like that was wasted space and I really wanted to be able to take advantage of having, you know, my to-do list have a little more, more room because I have a lot to do. Always. Always. Anyway, um, let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. Help me build my following. Um, yeah. Hope to talk to you more soon. Bye-bye. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And thanks to Grace, Frank, and Jim for joining us.